right, today we're at Floor and Decor, right here with my sister, Alicia. Say what's up. What up? She's my designer and stager. So we're gonna walk you through Floor and Decor today, and we're gonna talk about our choices in tile and we're gonna push Daniel through floor and decor today. Uh, <laughs> I got a, ass on a car. I got a bad back, so I'm kind of struggling to walk here. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight through the pain, and I know I'm gonna suffer this evening when I get home. But let's go on inside and take a look around. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as a crutch today. Oh. The funny thing is, I'm gonna push this cart around and we're not getting anything. You see the gray hex? That's what I want for my bathroom floor. Hex? Oh, oh, the big one? Yeah. All right, Alicia. So, we're at Floor and Decor today. And the whole point of this video is to show you guys how we choose tile and the reason for choosing that specific tile. And I decided that having my designer and stager here is the best tool because I really walk in and don't give a shit what we do. That is not true. Uh, you will definitely <laughs> veto me if he feels necessary. In most cases, if I don't like the tile, I will be vocal about it. But typically, I gotta trust the process. So what what do, what are what area are we the headed first, to? The first thing we do when we come in the store is we hit up the clearance section because we have been known to find some dope stuff there for cheap. Clearance. Clearance section. In the back. All right, so when you're looking for a clearance item, you're gonna have that little yellow tag right there. It's gonna specify what tile it is. All right, so which tile are you feeling? Which tile am I feeling? Yeah, let me, let me, let me relocate. I'm gonna right now. <laughs> <laughs> These are all little schmucky. <laughs> well, first of all, this used to be the clearance section. This used to be all clearance tile, but apparently things have changed. Um, he said it's all throughout the store now. So we only found one clearance tile over here. I yeah. don't like it. I think it's trying to look it's like marble. It's the one up top, huh? Marble, but it looks cheap. Yeah. In my opinion. In, in, in our opinion. Yeah. <laughs> So if you saw my last video, I'm dealing with a back problem. At least it was gonna push me on this thing, but I can't ride on it. So I'm kind of using this as a crutch temporarily since my back is hurting and I'm probably gonna need some surgery here soon. But my ego is a little too big to jump on a rascal. <laughs> so I'm not, so I'm gonna just use this as a l little helper today. Oh yeah, it's like a slate. nice finish yeah that's pretty dope i like the different colors Porcelain. and the texture like the cool thing about floor and decor is all the prices are up top like right above the tile so 2.99 a square foot and you come down boom and they have a vast selection of yeah. tile oh yeah so Bed Rosians is another company that we've used in the past and they have some they have some really nice tile. Their tile tends to be a little more on the expensive side and you have to purchase what you intend to use. So you can't bring back any overage. Whereas Thorn Decor, they'll allow you to return what you don't use. Um, while we're here, penny tile. Thing about penny tile, some of them can be defective and because there's so many, you have to like pay attention to each individual piece. So what we tend to do is just look at them and you have to look at them carefully. All of these seem to be okay. But if you find any defective, um, just put the sheet aside because we've had a couple of situations where a contractor has just slapped these up and have the demo a whole bunch because a lot of them are defective but it's not just that like penny tile is a contractor's nightmare because of how they are how tiny they are so if it's if you want them for something that's going to require a lot of cuts contractor may tell you no yeah or they're gonna or tile charge guy, you for it. Yeah, we're gonna charge you more because it's more work because it's more tedious because it's easier to break the tiles yeah 
All right, now where are we going? I know, I wanted to get the white, but this I got. So we recently used this in one of the rehabs recently. So the last rehab we did in Lawndale, uh, we, we installed this vertically in the hall bathroom. Really nice, really inexpensive, 97 cents a piece. So for, for a shower stall, you know, you're not gonna spend too much money to get a pretty good looking shower. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it. Which one? The tire I in my bathroom. The green? Yeah, my shower. Alex hey, is see, not going to let that see, no, happen. No, Alex is going to let me do whatever I want. See, Daniel stops me from being creative <laughs> because we design for the masses. So we always have to think of like what's going to be appealing to many buyers. But when it comes to my own house, I get to do whatever the fuck I want. And I want this green tire. Do y'all like the green? Look at that up there. That looks sick. I wouldn't have the white grout though. Not doing white grout. It's gonna look dope. I'm gonna have to veto this. Good thing you're not putting that in my shower. You're gonna That's love too my much. Shower. You're gonna think my shower is so dope and you're gonna trust me more after this. I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see. Alright. Alright, then we're off. He's having second thoughts after looking at the price of $3.94 tile. If you know how we roll, it's always on a budget. Budget. <laughs> yeah, it's important when you're flipping a house. Uh, your your budget is probably the most important thing to pay attention to because you can easily go over the budget, and you need to plan for any unexpected overages. Oh, see, here you go. Here's a bunch of clearance. I'm out of this. Is this the tile? Oh, th this is a similar to what we put in Kingsdale too, but gray, right? Remember? Oh yeah, that is. Same thing, but gray. Look at this. That's pretty. Looks nice. It's marble. All right, you got some glass tiles. It's actual marble. Right, I'm gonna slide up just a little bit. So everyone can get a good idea. So foam decor is probably our go-to when looking for tile. Here, show that up close. That's pretty little as, shells as texture i don't like it i like it she likes it she she tends to like a lot of stuff i don't like <laughs> but i'm a guy right i'm more simple it's like slap some simple shit up and call it a day and she has an eye for for character and style hence the reason she makes the big bucks <laughs> i wish <laughs> looks elegant. It does. Like I could imagine that in a high-end home. Well, like I mean, look at the price. Yeah, look at the freaking you know? price of this thing. $16.99 each, which means that little sheet, $16.99. However, that looks pretty elegant. Yeah, like a wet bar area. A bar. I think that'd be dope. Look at that. Or like a powder room. Yeah, which black. one? Which one? I just like the black. That one? Yeah, all black. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And, oh, shit, and we're off. <laughs> I kind of like all black. All right, we're in the hexagonal tile area. Which is still on I got an interesting, still like, really like it. alligator texture. It looks like an alligator. Am I tripping? No, it is. That's a real, real, real interesting tile. All right, so part of floor and decor is just aisles and aisles of tile. And you have to decide what fits your budget and what fits your style so alicia tell us a, tell us how you walk the aisles and what you look for in a tile well i already have a, kind of an idea based on the house and based on budget like what we're going to do or what specific tile i'm looking for for citrus it was spanish so we definitely were looking for more of a design like these yes yes yeah more of a design um for some of these other homes that are like kind of standard and maybe lower entry level homes we want something that's simple and clean that a lot of people will be attracted to right because when you're looking for something that caters to the masses you have to cater to the masses whereas if you're rehabbing more of a spec home that is higher end you're going to want some nice features and then you got to consider, you know, the people who are buying these houses tend to have a lot of money. So if they don't like something, they're just going to change it. But someone who's buying an entry-level home, they're not going to have the money to change it because all their money is going to purchase the house. 
so they're going to be stuck with <laughs> whatever you install and no i'm okay i'm just kind of struggling with my back yeah, so so yeah so it's creating something that's going to appeal to many people at the same time in every project i think daniel and i can both agree on this one we try and do something that's a little unique and maybe unexpected because i would like the buyer to be like oh this is dope or like when they're showing off their house it's like oh did you see this little area it's like cool and unique and different than your basic flipped home and nope. i think we achieved that and we want to stand apart from all the other flippers who just slap lipstick on a pig like i want to be able to like have a have a reputation for putting out a good product and a product that stands you know stands by itself whereas all these other guys are just putting shitty out shitty work yeah. i don't like it <laughs> so i, I wanted daniel to stop here because we probably use a wood a wood look tile in almost every project because people like it and the way it looks for the cost so this is a porcelain tile that's 319 a square foot and it has like these warm natural wood tones but not nearly close to the cost of hardwood floors and what looks I, like hardwood i know it's crazy the texture in it the dimension the depth because of all the colors is crazy and what what i've been doing in our most re recent projects is trying to choose a grout color um closer to the tile so it's a more seamless look are you gonna be able to hear us with these i hope so <laughs> <laughs> i hope so that mic keeps falling <laughs> So floor and decor also offers hardwood options and they also have an area for grout installation. So grout, um, power tools, anything to make your life a little easier with install. So in most cases we try and DIY everything unless we got to sub it out to a contractor, but we've installed tile ourselves. I helped Alicia redo her kitchen. So we installed the floor tile and you just come here and grab a few tools and you're on your way. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. And everyone's really helpful here. So every time we pass someone, they ask if we need help. See, I almost got one of these little rascals right here. But I can't bring myself to do it yet. We're good, thank you. Yeah, thanks for asking. I can't bring myself to get on one of those little motorized things yet. You're going to crash. You're going to crash. You're gonna crash. You're gonna crash. Full, you're gonna crash me. You're gonna crash. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out of the store. <laughs> All right. I think that's it, right? Is yeah. Oh, it's a teal tile. Let's look at these. So, we chose some clearance tile that went into one of our higher end projects, and it was more of a distressed Spanish looking tile. Yeah, and Alicia like wanted the satil tile. But not this orange. You wanted the reddish ones? No, no. It was like different one from Red Drogians. It was like more tan. Oh, so we were kind of debating in the car before we got in here that she wanted Satillo. This is what I imagine Satillo. That's like a polished Satillo. And this is more of a matte looking Satillo. But they're kind of cheap. I mean, $1.79? $1.99? It's a cheap Satillo. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. But we ended up going with a clearance item that, in my opinion, looked a little bit better than the Satillo tile. She. Oh yeah, that was. Kramer Wood Laundry Room. Yeah, that's a good looking tile. That is a dollar. Gee, it's cheap. Yeah. Dollar eighteen a square foot. Show the difference, Dad. All right, so this is more of a like matte and natural finish, and this is more of a finished look. And this is like an imitation grout. So that's a fake grout line. There's a real grout line, but then you have like this weird looking imitation grout line. Which, that we feel, we kind of uh, steer away from stuff like this because we feel that it looks cheaper. It looks more like you print this out on a piece of paper and this looks more like utilized. It looks like it's been in the house for 10 to 20 years and it just has some, some character. I like it. It's on and sale. it's cheap. Dollar 18 a square foot can't go wrong with that yeah. all right thoughts on stack stone these played out like, i think it's played out i feel like it's basic like i see a lot of people add this to the facade of the house like a front house i feel like it's a waste of money 
So anytime you're gonna update a home, just, just think of it this way. People aren't buying like an exterior physical appearance, they're buying utility. So they want a nicer kitchen, a nicer bathroom, cause they're gonna utilize those on a daily basis. They're not gonna utilize the stack stone on the front of the house. So it's more of a waste of money in my opinion. Where's that going? I like this for my bathroom floor. Yeah. Without the white. You're only gonna need like 15 to 20 tiles. I know, it's so small. <laughs> yeah. I know, for 329. Right? I'm not mad at it. Oh, watch out behind you. Okay, I think that's it, that's it? right? All right. All right, we're gonna go take a look at a house, but this was our quick and brief video of floor and decor. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check us out. We'll be trying to post content on a regular basis. Hopefully, I'll be picking up a new flip here real soon, and we'll actually put a lot of these uh, these tiles to use. Any closing thoughts? It wasn't recording when you were on the fucking car. I was. <laughs> All right, let's go.